Several cars broken into and vandalized. Right now, a South Baltimore neighborhood is trying to figure out who is behind all of the damage. Police say tonight they need your help identifying the man caught on camera in one of those break ins. WJZ is live tonight with the details. Amy Yency has a closer look at the video and reaction from folks in that area. Amy. And Jonathan, this is one of the cars that was targeted. As you can see, there are cracks in the window, in the glass, from when the suspect apparently tried to crack it and was unsuccessful, fortunately, for the woman who owns this car. I spoke to her. She says she's been living in this neighborhood for over 70 years and has never been as afraid as she is now. With a tool in his hand and surveillance cameras rolling, the unidentified man casually walks up to a vehicle and takes a swing. Then a few more until the driver's window caves in and he can snake his way in. What's the point of doing that? There's nothing in a car that's worth just destroying property. WJZ obtaining these photos of another damaged car, one of several that were targeted this weekend. Police now investigating who's been destroying property in South Baltimore. The rash and vandalism hits eerily close to home for Melva Turner. Her Chrysler was hit Friday night. At first I thought it was BBs, but I, I don't think so because I had pulled it in this way and there was no way they could have shot it. So take another look at the man walking away in the video. Investigators want to talk to him about the trail of destruction that's left some in this neighborhood rattled and afraid. After it gets dark, I don't go out of the house and either is he or afraid. And I've lived in this neighborhood 71 years and I never thought I'd see the day I'd be afraid to walk out my front door, never. And some of the neighbors that I spoke to say they specifically park their cars behind their houses and not on the street because they thought it would keep their property safe. Well, that has changed. In South Baltimore, Amy Yency reporting for WJZ. Back to you. All right, Amy, thanks so much. Anyone with information on the break-ins is urged to give Baltimore police a call.